Welcome back, everybody. This is probably the last episode in the series. This is the close combat only. Um, basically, the only challenge is to use a close combat weapon. Beat it on lethal. No boons. No, no uh, red talon. No legacy characters. Nothing. Basically, nothing. No sidearm. No primary. No melee. That's it. That's the challenge. Um, what I've done so far is, I think I've killed all or most of the plague hearts i think i have a, f a couple i either have a couple left and just the uh, main mission or i think i might have killed them all i don't know for sure i think i killed them all i'm just trying to do the main mission anyway that's all this is going to be is basically playing out the mission i'm going to go looting a little bit just to get some some stuff ready for the the pvp portion of this I don't know what it's going to be like, so this could be rough uh, moving forward. Oh, you, yeah, I love best. Yeah, so that's why we wanted to start at Code Alice, is because both of us started streaming. Well, he was streaming off and on for a long time. I started within the last year, and uh, we both. I wanted a way to incorporate, you know, hanging out with him, but also both of us streaming. So it took us a while to, to actually nail down how to do this, pro how to do it properly. But, yeah, the old school LAN parties, like, for me, it started in the first game that I LAN partied was probably Command and Conquer Red Alert Retaliation way back in the day on PlayStation 1 before, you know, the internet was even a thing. Or it was just a thing. And uh, you had to connect your consoles with, like, a, there's, like, a, I forget what it's called, it's, but it's basically, like, a connection cord. Uh, and yeah, that's how we played with each other was that connection cord because we needed two TVs, two PlayStations, two copies of the game, essentially, is how you did it, right? And that was, uh, that, those, that was the day. Those were the days. It was good. But yeah, today will be the, the close, finishing up this challenge and then anybody that wants to join multiplayer It'll be open tonight. It'll just be an open game. People can jump in, jump out as they want. I'll have some stuff to give away, some weapons, maybe some attachments, some mods, whatever else. So I'll do that later. Yeah, the land cable, Cindy. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We used to use the land land cable specifically for that game, though. For Command and Conquer. All right, let's go talk to this person. Goddamn, C-Blank. Can't believe it's been a year, dude. Holy shit. You join a very exclusive club. Very, very exclusive. I appreciate it, dude. One full year. God damn. Welcome back, C-Blank. I appreciate it, dude. You, uh... I appreciate your support, man. Not just in the year sub, but everything. Everything you choose to do. How you doing though? How's how's the family? How was your weekend? Uh, if if you didn't see my Discord message, by the way, I'm trying something different where I posted my stream schedule in the Discord, and uh, I think I said Wednesday is gonna be grounded. Thursday is gonna be Hogwarts again. I think is what I did there. Um, I want to see how this goes for the week, and maybe I'll do that every every Monday going forward. I'll, I'll post my weekly schedule sort of thing. It is always subject to change, but for the most part, I can lay out what I'm thinking at least. Um, but I, I know that you wanted to hit up some grounded multiplayer, so we can we can do that. My service is poor. I got to go for now. All right. Toad Alice, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Have a great night. I'll see you possibly later. <laughs> work, work, work. You're like a, a, what's that, Warcraft 3 orc? Yeah. Work, work. Zug, zug, work's done. All right, we'll go back over there. And, uh. You may just be my new best friend. 
couple of goddamn myth mythic wrecks. I appreciate the follow. How's it going? Good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear his laugh, dude, it makes me smile. I love it. You may just be my new best friend. God damn, Ethan Cooper, appreciate the follow. Welcome in, guys. So this, what you're watching now, is basically just my close combat uh, only challenge, where I just beat lethal with a close combat only weapon. So we'll see how this goes, but... Uh, yeah, so far it's been pretty good. I've killed all the plague hearts, and I'm just trying to... Uh, finish the last missions now. I work Wednesday. That'll be fine. I can switch days, too. If you want me to switch days, C-Blank, let me know. Because I got to talk to a bit on Holy today and get her to jump on early, too. And then I got to see if Tragic also wants to join. Because I know it's four-player. So I know a bit on Holy and Tragic both were deemed uh, Plague Rounded, which is which is funny. Um, so I got to make sure that they're also included. But it's going to be on my world. I don't want to start. I don't want to join somebody's like. Because last time, I think it was Friday, I was listening to Tragic on my way home from uh, Best Friend Friday. And Tragic was saying, like, yeah, like, come come to my world. It's on, like, super master hard ass difficulty. And I was like, no, dude. I don't want to do that. Like, goddamn. I don't want to jump into, like, a super hard game where I'm basically going to get carried and not do anything, right? That's not my intent ever in most games, I would say. Most games, I don't want to just stand in the corner. It also doesn't make for great content when you're just standing in the corner and uh, getting carried. So I also want to contribute, and I want it to be my world so I can kind of control the pace of it, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be creating my own world, and whoever wants, you know, out of you guys, out of you four, you know, you four get first dibs, and then whoever else after that is kind of... uh invited as well obviously uh, Tuesday works best for me but I can okay cool I'll switch it to Tuesday then let me do that right now actually give me one quick sec let me edit my message and I'll just switch those two around and whoever hasn't read it yet uh, won't know any better let's cut that one and we'll do that one here and then we'll do this one, and do this one here. Okay. All right, C-Blank, it's switched. Tomorrow we'll play Grounded. Yep, we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, Hey, what's up, Cheesy Chicken? What's your favorite uh, game of all time, if you have one? So this game's actually a pretty good candidate for that, only because it's zombie, open world. Like, you can basically craft your own communities, it's got a skill system, so it's got RPG elements, but if you're talking about games from back in the day, like, I'm a huge Final Fantasy person, also, like, just an RPG person in general, so Final Fantasy 7 was a huge one for me, 7, 8, 9 were all huge, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics was, um, I love it, absolutely love it, uh, Legend of Dragoon was awesome back in the day, Call of Duty's always been... A, a huge highlight for me at least for the last like I'd say at least 12 years not including the last few years you know but basically from Modern Warfare like so, so Call of Duty 4 all the way up to a few years ago I played Call of Duty religiously like religiously dude um, I also like the old Zelda games you know uh a Link's Awakening was one of the first Game Boy games that I had that was like super difficult as a kid right oh then how do you talk about my favorite games without talking about Pokemon Pokemon Blue was one of my first first ever games right Pokemon Blue was the first game and I always talk about it where I actually played it on the big ass gray Game Boy and I would have to play it in the car or I would play it in the car, but I would only be able to play it between streetlights as my, my parents were driving, right? So I'd have to play it from streetlight to streetlight, just listening to the sounds, essentially, because I didn't have that cool Game Boy screen. So, uh, yeah. 
but modern, like right now, I would say State of Decay 2 has got a real tight spot in my heart, especially over the last year where I've been playing it. I've got 800 plus hours into it just in the last year, essentially. So I think those are my short answers. If I sat and thought about it more, maybe I would, you know, figure some more out. But those are the first ones that jump out to me personally. What about you? What's your favorite game of all time? Oh, obviously, it's uh, Mario. The old Mario games. Specifically, Super Mario All-Stars. We had that for Super Nintendo. Loved it. Holy shit. We got a lot of zombies here. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could whip out your gun. Because I can't, so whip out your gun, maybe. Shoot his ass. Get him. There we go. This zombie just walks up and eats him for free. He doesn't even pay for that buffet. Uh, Pokemon Yellow is your favorite, too. Hell yeah, C-Blank. Uh, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Grounded can be brutal in the beginning. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure. To, I wanna, That's why I want to take it easy, right? You sounded grounded on Wo or Wo. It was insane. But if I'm the odd man out uh, and another day work best for Tragic and Unholy, I'll be down for whatever. No, no. Well, you're the one that brought it up, and I want to listen. There's four of us now. We got to just make it work sort of thing. Let me tilt this down a little bit. Let me get myself in the, in the frame more. There we go. Uh, I just bought Legend of Dragoon on PS4 for 10 bucks. Oh man, it's such a cool game. I really enjoyed the uh, I really enjoyed the game when it first came out. It was kind of like a dark horse, like a not very popular RPG, but I personally loved it. I love the transformations into the dragoons. Yeah, Pokemon Yellow was awesome too. I I did play a lot of Yellow. Dragoon, I haven't heard that name in so long. Uh, blue. Yeah, blue is one of your favorites. Street, dude, street lights was the old school way for sure. Oh, the gold and silver. See, I didn't get gold and silver. I did try, but not, not so much. All right, cool. We got to go back. There's hostile survivors. All right, let's. Uh, where are we going? Back there. So we'll stop by here, grab some supplies, and then we'll go back over. Cool, cool. Because I have nothing on me currently. And this is going to be the first PvP of uh, the Sheriff. The Sheriff Legacy missions. We got a. We're going to grab a bunch of explosives, some healing, maybe a smoke bomb. I don't know if the smoke bomb actually works on them. I actually don't think it does. I think they just auto aim you through smoke and shit. So I might. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because you can't even run them over to kill them. Vehicle damage does. Is, is nothing when it comes to hostile NPCs, so that's a bit harder. When you come on the show, we'll be asking those questions again, probably. Hell yeah. I'll have better answers for you. If you give me, like, a... When we actually nail down a date, if you give me, like, a show, like, pre-run or some shit, I can have... I can have those answers ready. I won't script, obviously, my answer, but I'll have those answers ready. So I don't forget any games. I'm going to be like, oh, man, I wish I would have said, you know, GoldenEye. Because GoldenEye was the first PvP game that I ever played on Nintendo 64. And I put a lot of hours into that. That was a couch co-op game for the ages. Baldur's Gate, Dragon Age, Fallout. Yeah, Fallout's a great one. Fire Emblem, yeah. XCOM, yeah, exactly, Cindy. I think those are all fantastic choices. I also forgot to grab some shit. Now a juggernaut might be chasing me. Yeah, I think those are also fantastic choices. If this guy could not get eaten by the infestation, that'd be cool. Oh, okay. went away again. All right. I thought Dragoon was popular. It might have been. It, it could have been auto. It might have just been the area because everybody I was talking to, literally nobody talked about Legend of Dragoon except one person who introduced me to it. I'd game with you anytime. Hell yeah. Oh, Tekken was cool. We were more into Street Fighter. Like, the friend group that I was playing was really into Street Fighter. 
Elden Scrolls was top win. Morrowind was years of my life. Donkey Kong Racing. Yeah, that was a good one. Super Mario Sunshine. Resident Evil games. Dude, I wish I would have played the Resident Evil games more as a kid. Or as, like, a teenager, I guess. I didn't play them a lot, which is unfortunate. All right, let's take some pipe bombs. I will take my first aid kit. Let's even bring, like, I'm bringing so much shit. We have to, right? Let's bring all that. Let's go. Elder Scrolls just wasn't my jam. The only way I completed was Skyrim, and I have tried all of them since Daggerfall. See, I haven't played any Elder Scrolls games very seriously. I'm aware they've existed, and I've seen, like, when I lived with Ronan, I've, I've watched him play Skyrim a ton. But I never played it myself a ton. I played Dino Cry Dude, Dino Crisis was pretty cool. If I remember that correctly. I'm pretty sure I, I like Dino Crisis. I like Turok as well. Turok was a lot of fun. Oh, I'm gonna hit a bloater. I'm gonna hit a bloater. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed both of those. Holy shit. Just call me Ricky Bobby out here. We're good to go. God damn. Very good. <laughs> Very good. God damn, there's six ferals there. I drove away from three and another three spawned. All right, let's see what this hostile mission looks like. This might be ugly. Uh-oh. There's no execute button on them? Oh god, this is going to be hard as shit. There's no execute button. Oh no. Okay, maybe I just let them kill him. I can use the soda can bombs to kind of AoE them down. Maybe I should just let the zombies take care of them. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, is that my person? Oh no, the loot chasers might have died. Shit. Alright, I got one. We might have done it? Yeah, I think we did it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I think the pipe bomb did a lot of damage to them. Dude, I got no stamina. I didn't bring any stamina items. That was my one mistake. And they got guns, but they ain't killing zombies for shit. admire Civ Revolution for the Xbox. You played hours and hours. So I was actually talking to Otto before the stream started. Well, af just after the stream started. Before I started, like, recording or the video or whatever. But, um, there's, a uh, Bannerlord is on there. Which could be pretty cool. Could be pretty cool. I want to check it out and see what it looks like on console. If it's as good as the PC client, then sounds very interesting to me but i love strategy games and rpg games um basic basically wherever you can customize your team and you know our playthroughs would be different or could be different based on who we choose what we choose different paths or 
skills and abilities or whatever, right? For multiple different reasons, it could be a different game. But it, we're playing the same game. It's why I like State of Decay, right? Like, State of Decay, we can we can pick the same fifth skills, we can pick the same traits, but we're, we might play differently, right? Like, someone like Mad Max just farms ammo nonstop, grabs all the vehicles, you know? Or, or somebody could play the game very stealth, like very stealthily. And uh, yeah, I think that's really cool that you get to choose how you want to play it, right? All right, there's the 42 Feral spawn. Excellent. Makes a lot of sense out here. You don't get the overhaul mods, which are amazing as well. Yeah, that's the only downfall about console play right now. Like we got Discord and I don't know, some games are being meant to parry parody the uh, con uh the pc version sorry but it, I, it's gonna be a while before it's one to one i think because of the e the mod situation right mods even for state of the k2 mods change the game drastically right i wish i could play mods on my xbox i think that'd be so cool but that's what i'm saying like i wonder if the base game is worth investing time into or you know that sort of thing We'll see. Like I said, I want to check it out and see how it plays and if it feels good, if, you know, maybe it's laggy. I don't know. I want to, I want to see, man. We'll see. I played so much. I've memorized all the maps. Hell yeah. That's so cool. M Midnight Suns. Really? You like Midnight Suns that much? That's cool. I want to play that shit too. That game looks super fun. Everybody said that they hate the, uh, like relationship building that it tries to do. Like, Captain America goes over and flirts with Captain Marvel or some shit. People are saying they don't enjoy that so much. Which, I don't know why. Like, for me, that wouldn't ruin a game. Maybe it's not as an enjoyable piece of the game for me, but it would be more about the card aspect. The Yeah, once again, the RPG kind of aspect of it. Can this? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't have any fuel. Alrighty then. All right, I'm going to go grab a fuel rucksack so I don't have to worry about going down to two on that one. We're okay. I've heard Microsoft has plans for mod support one day on the console. I mean, one day, I think they will. Because that just separates PC from the consoles, right? You can be like, oh, PC is just way better than consoles for one reason. And it's mods. And it's like, oh yeah, consoles have literally nothing to combat that like if you want mods just go play on pc period that's it as a fire emblem uh player i like the relationship stuff yeah see i think i wouldn't mind it either it like it might not be my favorite thing but here's the thing i don't get offended by like why is black panther romancing captain marvel or scarlet witch he would never do that he's never done that in comics that's not who i am or like what i care about i think that shit's funny and why not do something unique right I'm I'm not worried about stuff like that. That doesn't offend me. Holy shit. Hey, what y'all doing here? Alright. Everyone PC gaming is great for mods and cheaper games. Yeah, that's fair. Games are so expensive, and they're just getting more and more expensive. It's kind of crazy, but I get it. I've never been a PC gamer, and honestly, it feels overwhelming to try and start. Yeah, it. well, it's like you got to buy a whole PC, which costs thousands of dollars, right? It's not like... It's not like a console where... You know, you buy it for seven, let's say on the an expensive side, Canadian, like $700, right? Once you buy a console, I'm not going to have to upgrade my console unless I break it, which could be my own fault. It could be Microsoft's fault, right? It could, it could overheat, there, whatever. There's a number of different problems. But with a PC, I feel like it has those problems as well. So, like, I'm scared of it overheating. I'm scared of, can these zombies stop filing out one by one from here? Holy shit. And then... But it also comes with the whole thing of, like, maybe it's just going to be obsolete in a few years. 
or like I can't play the top games anymore because my graphics driver is no longer good. Like there, there's just these weird PC only problems that I wouldn't say scare me, but definitely give me concerns. But I'm still going to get a PC one day. I'll be a PC gamer one day. I'll stream from a PC and uh, play on a PC. One day. So I'm going to go down there, take a left, then take another left. Okay. Um, the problem is not a lot of or a lot of companies don't want their games modded. Bethesda, yeah. With Mod Shop, but on PC, fuck them. They can't stop me. I have all the files right here. It's true. I like that, too. I don't know, man. If you don't want your game modded, I don't know. It's hard to have, like, why wouldn't you want your game modded? Doesn't that just encourage, doesn't that encourage people to play it and engage and post about it and show you that people are passionate and your game will actually have longevity because people can mod for it and enjoy it for many years? I don't know. Maybe they want that naturally, but hey, man, that shit, there's so many d dead good games out there. It's kind of crazy. Is it really foggy? What's wrong with my screen? That looked really weird. The way the sun was hitting with, like, fog or some shit, that looked really rough. PCs are really high maintenance. Yeah, I agree in the order. That's the way it feels. I'd go 120% PC. You can lower and increase graphics. I tend to romance the same people. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, all right. Makes sense. PC parts are outdated. Exactly, C-Blank. That's, that's what I think, too. The only expensive parts of GPU now. I mean, how much could you build a, P a, good, a good gaming PC for minus the GPU now? Is it like a thousand dollars? Is it twelve hundred? How much is it to build a, a a a good gaming setup without the GPU included? I'd be curious to know. If you can't mod a game, people like people will clamor for for sequel more. Yeah, exactly. The longevity of the game just goes away if you can't mod it. Uh, let me download Nexus mods on my Xbox. Modders will make the rest happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, dude. I 100% agree. We are on the same page. Thanks again for the one year, C Blank, man. That is crazy shit. I appreciate it. It uh, Thanks for sticking around for a whole year, man. It, it's insane to think it's already been a year. But I appreciate it. Prefer my games in vanilla, but occasionally I'll enjoy some mods. Well, Cindy, it's kind of like this game, right? State of Decay. I don't... There's two mods... Two mods that I can think of that I would want to play regularly. At least two mods regularly. And it would be the Walking Dead mod. I would love to play that regularly. I think the Walking Dead mod is super fun and unique. Um, and a cool way to play this game. I would also like to play Dark Side a lot. Right? I would love to play Dark Side more. But, yeah, I can't play on my PC. But if I had it on my Xbox, I would play Dark Side a lot. Maybe the developers don't want you playing somebody else's game, essentially. I don't know. But yeah, the Walking Dead mod I, I really enjoy as well. I like it vanilla for the most part as well. Like, I do enjoy mods, but nothing that like completely changes the game or adds like a mini game or takes away a mini game, right? A buddy of mine at work was saying he was playing this game. I forget which one. And he said he played the same minigame so many goddamn times that he downloaded a mod that takes away the minigame. That essentially completes the minigame for you so you don't have to play it again. <laughs> that's ridiculous, right? But that's just how he wants to play it. He's tired of, them. He's tired of playing their damn minigame, you know, 7,000 times. Twelve hundred for top of the line on sale. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. 
that's not too bad because that sounds like GPU included. Oh, the old Su Sukoden games. I still have Sukoden four, or Suikoden, Sutoden. Yeah, I still have uh, Sukoden four at my parents' place on PS two. I thought that game was so unique and awesome too, where you could recruit hundreds of different characters and keep changing your party and shit. I would love a modern Sukoden game. There's, I kickstarted um, uh, the the same people who made that, basically started a Kickstarter and they're making a new game. So it's possible that I play that game on stream one day. We'll have to see when it comes out, though. Uh, I wouldn't. Sh I would still be here if you sucked. Well, we are the best gamers on the on the platform, so that that checks out. I I agree. As a unit, we are the best. All right, let's just leave this place. I'm out. Let me see. Holy shit. Conehead zombie scared the hell out of me. Oh, there's a lot coming. Alright, I'm just I'm just out. Never mind, I'll dodge into the car and he'll eat me. May I please just get you off of my car? God damn it. It's just turned into a mess down here. All right, let's get to the uh, outpost real quick. Uh-oh. Take it, nerd. Yeah, let's get to the outpost, regroup, and I can probably go back home and... Deposit these rucksacks, then we'll be good to go. Right, let me catch up with chat real quick. Uh, oh, the Dragon Quest games? Yeah, those are pretty solid, too. I wasn't super into those. I wish I was more into Dragon Quest. I never got into them. Legend of Mana was good. Yeah. Like, Seven Days to Die mods usually are a whole different game. Yeah, exactly. Since you have 900... Exactly, you have 900 hours in the game. It's fine to mod the game, in my opinion, right? I'd buy that game off you if you're one. Nah, I don't. I know. I don't like. Man, I couldn't sell my childhood nostalgia stuff. I think I played Sukoden. I forget which one was on the, the the plastic case. It was the thick case. I think it was PS One. Oh man, I I really my friend again a friend of mine showed me and I was just like, this game is amazing. You can recruit seventy three different characters. Oh my God, there's a lion man. Oh my god, this is so cool. I, I just remember absolutely loving it. Loving that game. That Actually, man, that's a good point. That might be one of my my more favorite old school RPG games. Other than like the Final Fantasies and Legend of Dragoon and stuff. It's all how you justify it. I get games on discount to substitu subsidize my library. I can get any old game emulated or new one. <laughs> or new one. And if I love a game, I can get extended content or overhauls to add lots of playtime. I think that's the biggest driving factor as well, is being like, I love this game, and I just want more of it, but the developer isn't developing for it anymore. How do I obtain more? And it's like, well, you can't. But, wait a sec, now you've met, there's a whole bunch of passionate people on the internet who do want to develop, who do want to extend this game's life and can develop for it so they do right and that's how mods come in is you know passionate people for that specific game tales games see i never played the tales games either new xbox is gonna be like 900 they're saying i can get a pc that can play any game but xbox can and more what new xbox is that because I have the Xbox Series X. Are you saying there's like a pro version of the Series X? <laughs> What's up, Apu? We're doing it. We're decaying. We're doing it, man. I'm finishing up my close combat only challenge. Um, you know, we're doing it. How you doing, man? How was your weekend? How is the rest of Diablo 4? I know you mentioned in the, the Discord you played it for a little bit longer. 
I also played it a little bit longer. I didn't play it anything crazy. I think I played an extra hour Friday night and uh, really enjoyed my time in it, man. I, I like the fact that it doesn't feel like Diablo 3 where it expects you to kill 10,000 enemies within three minutes to complete the objective. Um, it, it feels like I can take my time and actually just work my way through the dungeon, still fight higher enemies. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed D4. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it'll be even more fun with people, man. I think that game's going to be fantastic with, with friends. You built your own pirate crew? Yeah, exactly. And you got to, man, C-Blank, you even got to, like, make your own base, right? You got to, like, determine where stuff was, I think, if I remember correctly. It was kind of like the old Shining Force games where you could you could do a certain certain events, certain things in certain orders to recruit different people. So some people were harder to recruit. Yeah, I'll do that one day, C-Blank. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm going to stream Sukoden one day, 100%. It's probably my, my one of my favorite RPGs of all time. It has to be. It's at least a couple. Uh, the Scorpion or whatever. The new secret project one. See, I don't know what that means. Yo, Mad Max with 100 bits. What's going on, man? How you doing? Thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, I've heard nothing about it either. Party Up is way more fun. Ronan partied up with some of my in real life buddies. And flame me all stream. Hell yeah, Pooh. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Good for him. I'm glad. I'm happy for him probably play more halo than any other game that keeps me oh yeah halo people put a lot of time into halo rightfully so i mean it was an awesome game meet up some linked multiple xboxes together yeah dude it's just next gen console named scorpion well, who's saying that auto four tv 16 people yeah man that I, that's what we were saying earlier like we did it with playstations and a much you know worse game than halo but we had the best time with it it was so much fun dude i'm telling you guys i i hope best friend fridays catches on more and people really enjoy it like i feel like the possibilities are almost endless we just have to find games that we can actually split screen right because i feel like that's so cool oh shit he's outside I didn't think he was outside. I thought they were all inside. Why would one guy be outside? Played like six hours of Halo last night to complete the free event before it expires tomorrow. Hell yeah. I When when Infinite first came out, I used to... Well, I man, New Order... I, I just repeat myself over, and I'm sorry. But when... Uh, when Infinite first came out, I completed all of the missions. I made sure to complete all of the free stuff every time new stuff came out. Every time a new, like, season pass or whatever they call it, it would come out, I would make sure to complete it. And then I stopped. Leaks but grain of salt? Yeah, I... Yeah. Okay. Every time they'll do that mid-gen update for the Xbox One, it's called Project Scorpio. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about it. Um, yeah. I, wow. Landed it. Yeah. I guess I can just say I haven't heard of this leak. Um, but. Because it would be weird for them to already come out with another Xbox, right? The, the Xbox One X just came out, what, a year ago? year and a half ago? I just Googled it. Microsoft said there won't be any new consoles until at least 2028 at the earliest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's five years from now, right? Because we just got the Series X, again, a year, two years ago. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I, I just don't see it happening. Like, the Xbox One X consoles are powerful, man. They're legit power. Like, I think they can keep up with PCs, to be honest. They run their... They got some nice, nice hardware. 
All right, let's do do do. Let's just go back up home. Ah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's go back up home. Let's do it. Yeah, one and a half a boo. Yeah, agreed. That's cool. I bet there's a Series X Pro or something. See, I don't even think there's going to be a Pro version yet, dude. I think it's too early for Pro versions or Slim or, you know, I, I just think it's too early. I think at least a couple more years and they might start making like special editions or some shit, but I still think it's far too early right now. If it's in development, I, th I think it's still years out. I, I don't know if they, if they can get that sort of hardware without charging over a thousand dollars to get better hardware than what they're currently using to make the consoles better it's like dude how are they even mass produce that am i really gonna austin powers myself in the mountains really come on roll out of it baby all right we're just here now carne asada fry oh new order i love carne asada as is, but swapping out chorizo for the carne asada, hell to the yum, dude. It's it's funny because I love poutines that have like weird shit on them, like yeah, like chorizo. Chorizo poutines are so good. Pulled pork poutines are amazing, right? I assume carne asada because pulled pork is great. Carne asada would be great. Um, I like. I don't know if you guys have these there, New Order, but we have like these poutine places that puts all these crazy meats on there. You can get insane poutines it costs like you know 15 to 20 bucks and uh but your poutine is a it's like six pounds and it's just absolutely massive and they're good as hell i used to get a what's it a buffalo chicken poutine i think yeah i think it's a buffalo chicken poutine from this place so good unbelievably good people have been saying an updated switch is around the corner but that hasn't happened. Man, the Switch console sucks. We talked about it briefly on Friday. The Switch console pisses me off because I feel like they just don't give a shit. Like, ah, oh man, Nintendo makes me mad. So the Switch had Bluetooth capabilities the whole time. And it was just turned off. And then one day they said, ah, you know what? Let's give them Bluetooth capabilities. And then they just turned on the setting and said, hey, download the update. It's just, we went years. And when I say years, for the people that own them, know how long we went without being able to do that. And they just flipped the switch and said, ah, you can do it now. Crazy to me. I think I read Microsoft loses money on the Xbox Series X, but makes more than up for it in other sales. Yeah, that's probably true. I could see that, C-Blank. <coughs> I could see that. Where they either break even or lose on every console sold. But then they make up for it on games and accessories and, you know, stickers. And I seen this cool X... We were at Walmart yesterday. And I seen this cool Xbox lamp. God damn. <coughs> I seen this cool Xbox lamp that just sits behind you and it just says micro... It just says Xbox on it. It's just a cool ass thing. It just says Xbox, and I was like, "That's awesome." They, but they would just make money off of that because my dumbass would buy it, which costs them probably thirty six cents to make, but I would buy it for twenty bucks. <laughs> so that's probably where they make their own, uh, where they make their money. Yeah, it sounds like we have uh, company out here. Shit. All right, let's grab a Molotov. <laughs> I don't need any. I don't need any shenanigans happening here. That guy just walked by. All right, give me a sec to catch up with chat real quick. I'm just gonna clear our base. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Um. The OLED is prettier. The OLED is very pretty, but. I still think the switches are less than ideal. I feel like they could be better than they they just I feel like they just put a product out and they go, ah, good enough. It's for kids mostly. 
one of the court cases regarding Microsoft's takeover of Activision, it was noted in papers provided to whatever court that, yes, Microsoft does lose money on each series console sold. That's crazy new order. It was also noted in that trial and the trial that Sony, meanwhile, makes a little bit of profit on each PS5 sold. See, that's interesting. Yeah, I own, well, Curry Flex got me this one for my birthday. It's the uh, Series 2 Elite Controller, I believe, with the back paddles and whatnot. And all of the stuff is, like, removable and customizable. Actually, the light should be on, too, but it's not. Weird, why is my light not red anymore? Weird. That actually, uh, <laughs> that reminded me, goddammit. My people are annoying me by trying to kill every zombie out here. Why are they out in the parking lot? Dave? What are you saying, Dave? Gino? Dude, a bloater walks into your base? What the hell? And he doesn't want me. He wants my people. Oh, okay. Well, let's put them straight into the infirmary. They make twelve point seven billion a year on Game Pass alone. That's disgusting. Last year they had twenty five million active users. That's insane, C blank. Holy shit. I used to be totally against poutines until I tried them. Now there's so much variety. Outcast, I feel like there's so so much variety in your poutines. Like a ridiculous amount. It's so cool. Poutines are awesome. Diablo Friday, yes. I believe so, Apu. I think it'll be well, hopefully, we're going to start with Ronan and myself, obviously. And then I think we'll both start level one characters, or I'm going to start a druid anyway. So I'll be level one. But if it works, hopefully we can bring in more people. I don't know how many people per game can exist. Because I was playing Friday night, and I got to the point where people were actually in my game. And I was around the city, and there were just a bunch of people running around. Like 50 people were around me. And I was like, what the hell is this? So maybe we can have more than four of us in a party or in the same game. I don't know. Maybe it's just in town. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, but you, we'll, we'll get you in for sure. You can be number three. It'll probably be me, you, Ronan, and Tragic. I would assume. And if somebody else wants to join, like if Mad Max wants to jump in, then absolutely. Or if anybody else that's playing the open beta, feel free to jump on in. Um, but yeah, the three are me, you, and Ronan for sure. And I'm not sure if Tragic will be on that night, so I can't speak for him. Given how close we are to the border, I'm very surprised there aren't many, if any, local restaurants that offer poutine. That's crazy to me. Almost everywhere you go here, like fast food or restaurants, will have, uh, poutine as an option like do you want to side poutine with your at, with your meal it's crazy to think that you guys don't have that option the bloater knocks someone open the gate dude the gate i guess the gate was just open and the bloater just helped himself he just walked in all right Hey, what's up, Uncle Filth? How you doing, man? Thanks again for the thumbnails, dude. Appreciate it. I got another streamer, bro, who has been asking. I'll link you both so you can uh, decide if you're interested. We had me... My two buddies and Ronan in a party, but yeah, there are people. Yeah, yeah, there's other people in the world. Yep. Philly, Philly cheesesteak. Don't be getting Diablo until probably this fall when Hubby is back home. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah, but you guys, you guys co-op a lot of that too, so that makes sense though, Cindy. We'll be there whenever you decide to get it though, if you ever want to jump in our game. Or if you ever want us to jump in your game, whichever. Whichever. It's up to you. I forget which one it is, but there's a recently released Xbox controller that has a code or something 
to allow you to change your Xbox's background. Oh, like the actual background like display? Or are you talking about the background like on your actual controller? Brandon said the best unit. <laughs> He's a real sick guy. Yeah, you know. You know how it is, man. C Blank. Oh, C Blank joined the uh, the 12 month club today, Uncle Phil. He's a part of your elite club. I think there's four people in it now. I think it's Mad Max, Tragic, C Blank, and Uncle Phil. I think is the 12 monthers. Yeah, they should offer more backgrounds, in my opinion. They should offer more customizable Xboxes, again, in my opinion. I don't know. You guys live at a Plagueheart? Old Plagueheart location? All right. That should make me VIP, at least. Membership has its privileges. <laughs> You can already change the background of the Xbox home screen, but this controller has a unique background that only is via this particular controller. So yeah, it's interesting. That is, <coughs> that is interesting. I wonder which controller it is. Cause like I said, I've got the uh, Elite Series 2. I can change the color of the button, but that's it. God damn, I got a cough. Something stuck in my throat or water tickled my throat. Get off my doors. It's still on my doors. Get off my doors, dude. God damn. I'm a slacker only at seven months. God. No, Cindy, I appreciate the seven months. It's, it's crazy to think that it's already been a year of affiliate, which legit blows my mind. I can't even... It's wild to me. It really is. So thank you guys for sticking with me, hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I got some, some fun ideas in the works. We'll see. I'll talk to my uh, to my mod extraordinaire, see, see what he has to say. All right. Defend my honor. Um, <laughs> autographed limited edition one year anniversary celebration foot pick. <laughs> Cindy's like unsubbed. I don't want this anymore. You can keep it. I'm stopping at seven months. That's it. I don't I don't need your nasty foot pick. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit, they laughed and then started shooting at me. Oh shit, I should have. I didn't think that would happen. And I'm by myself, dude. This is going to be rough. Oh no, what do I do? I know I need to leave the missionary. You got to give me a second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm coming back. Don't worry. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's start off with some pipe bombs. <gasps> Maybe zombies can kill them. Oh god, there's a feral over there. There we go. Get him, ferals. Hold on, let me just crouch over here and just throw bombs over a fence. Get him, boys. <laughs> get him. It's me and the zombies again. Oh shit, he's looking at me. Yeah, get him. Nah, you can't hit me. I'm, I'm hiding behind a fence. You can't hit me. Holy shit. Oh, no. That zombie knows I'm here. Uh-oh. Yeah, I bite him. All right. Oh, shit. I got hit through the fence. Get him, Feral. Come on, Feral. Get him. Yeah. Yes. Eat him. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely. 
This is so sick. He's still looking at me. He's trying to hit me. What a nerd. Get him. Oh, look at him. He's all hurt and shit. That screamer is absolute. Okay, I thought it was this one. Oh, he's dying. He's dying. Yep, there one goes. Oh, shit. Ah, fucking zombie. Snuck up on me. Alright, two more. Two more to go. Let me use a uh, pop a pill and heal up a little bit. This is amazing. I thought the judge said we can't send those out anymore. Jesus Christ. Yours was autographed. Mine was just blurry. <laughs> Limited edition one of one. Hey, get out of here. Oh, shit. This one's coming to get me. I got to sneak away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a few ferals. Uh-oh. There's four ferals. Oh, and that one wants me. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, and they're dead. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yep. Job well done. See you guys later. Bye, all. Thanks for the mission. Thanks, zombies. Appreciate you. See ya. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Excellent, dude. I was overlord there. I just controlled the, the peons, the, the zombies, the minions. That was awesome. That was, that was textbook right there. I had to do nothing. They started to get on me at the end there. That was cool. Because I can't kill... So here's the problem with this close combat challenge. If you have to do a hostile mission, it's so hard to actually kill somebody because you can't kill them with explosives. You can knock them down and do damage to them, but you can't kill them. You can't kill them with your car either. I don't even think it does damage to them. So what are you left with? You're left with your close combat, which is just stabbing, right? Which... You'll, you'll probably get instantly downed if you try and stab somebody that has a gun, right? That's never a good idea. So it's basically just how can I lure zombies here and not get eaten myself? I think is, is, the, is the actual challenge of it. I still don't know what's happening in this game and it still entertains me. That's usually a good sign. Dude, this game's chaos for sure. It is chaos, but it's so good. My favorite game, Apu. <laughs> hey, what's up, Psychat the Gray? How you doing? Psychat. Psychat the Gray. Am I dumb? I think it's Psychat. It might be Psychat. I don't know. Man, it reads different in Canada, trust me. That's not my fault. How you doing, though? How's your Monday? I framed it. <laughs> That's a rare one. That's the rare holographic one, right? <laughs> We're some weird people, man. Let me tell you. We are some weird cats. Uh, let's go back over there and... Just change characters so they can maybe trigger the mission in the next one. You got it right the first time? Okay, cool. Psychad it is. I can understand it. It seems great. I'm fairly certain I don't understand. Dude, all the brain smoothing. It's just all the brain smoothing that Dark Souls has just rubbed into your brain. Listen, I don't know if you die as much as I do, but I was playing that game. So I haven't played a FromSoft game in probably 10 years. Probably since I lived with Ronan, which was years ago. And, uh... Even then, I didn't play it for very much, so I don't have very much experience with FromSoft games. But when I started playing Dark Souls 1 again, I was pretty terrible. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I could go through Dark Souls 1 Remaster now with my current skills and beat it under 100 deaths, right? You can see a bit of core. Goddamn, C blank. I just watched the making of The Last of Us. I didn't know they filmed a bunch of it in good old Canada. Wow, that's cool. What part of Canada is uh, Uncle Phil? Also, which ones? Is it just the winter scenes? Because probably, right? 
Uh, I streamed five hours last night. Hell yeah, dude. If you guys don't follow Apu Agoo, definitely go check him out. Awesome dude. Great beard. 10 out of 10 gameplay. Funny ass dude. I like watching him. He's one of my new... One of my new favorite friends. Friends streamers that uh, streams on Twitch. Here's a shout out for him. It's not Matt, I'm gonna need Dark you Souls. To not it's Minecraft Dungeon. Powers. You did a lot of begging and pleading to get those. And... Uh, too many Phillips and Dr. Thunders will get those taken away. One hundred percent. Oh yeah, I was gonna change characters. That was the whole point of this. I just don't have anything worth making me. This is a useless. Yeah, Minecraft Dungeons looks like a great game for sure. I've never played any of it ever, so I could play that game and it would be pretty much completely brand new to me. But I mean, yeah, yeah. It looks like a fun game though, Outcast, honestly. My mod drunk modding? <laughs> Your mod drunk modding? That's pretty funny. Alberta. Ooh. Alberta. Yeah, okay, they got lots of wilderness out there. I can see that. What do we got going on here? Med, I don't give a shit about any of that. Um, yeah, we're just going to wait for that mission to trigger. And that's it. Um, I do, I would like some more meds, but I don't think it matters really. <coughs> God damn, man, my throat for some reason. Uh, Psycat wants to know how many, how many characters have I lost? Uh, too many. Too many is the answer. Two, four, six, eight, nine, nine. I believe. I think one of those was not my fault, and I think um a glitch happened and kind of screwed me over. But nine in total, so far. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, nine in total so far. I mostly died to ferals. It's it's basically dying to ferals when you're not ready to fight them. Or they just, you know, three ferals spawn and they, they hit you and they hit you and they tackle you. And then, you know, it's just one of those things that, like, is almost unavoidable. Even if you have powerhouse characters, it's hard to, to work around. So I was lucky enough to actually not community wipe and be able to hire, you know, recruit more people continue i think i got down to three people the lowest but i was never in super danger i felt pretty in control the whole time i think i could go through this again and do it more efficient and not have so many people die i think i could do that yeah i definitely think i could do this more efficiently oh let's go up there why not let's grab them their meds Appreciate the shout out, but I told that story to confirm I died for five hours and fought one boss. Yeah, that's crazy. Souls games are just a grind. I'm super excited to watch. Yeah. Um I man, I like Dark Souls a lot. I'm I'm glad I'm going through all of the FromSoft games and playing them front to back. So Wednesday I'll be playing Dark Souls three again. And I think that's day six. It's pretty good though. It's it's a lot of fun, man. I, I really Dark Souls 3 has been the least enjoyable, but once again, that could be my build or the, the way I'm choosing to play it. But Dark Souls 3, for me at least right now, is the least fun. I'm getting my ass kicked in Dark Souls 3. I can't grow a beard? Dude, you could. It, there's there's things you can do, C-Blank. There's kits that you can buy that um, promote beard growth. It's not going to miracle grow your face, but it'll promote beard growth. You know, if you're using oil and those rollers and, you know, washing it and using beard shampoo and cutting it and just doing that over and over and over again until you can grow a beard. Um, you, I believe in you. You could do it. Hey, what's up, Tommy? How you doing? 
Happy Taco Monday, everybody. It's true. It is Taco Monday. <laughs> it's actually wing night. So after stream today, Curry Flex and myself got a sweet, uh, got a sweet wing date we're going to hit up. We do really, really enjoy wings. So this makes sense. How was your weekend, Tommy Kazoo? How you doing today on this mighty fine Monday? Uh, let's go. Yeah, whatever. Let's go this way. It don't matter. Raining tacos. Okay, I got you. Sorry, let me get to my destination and I'll I'll put that in. Brown hair doesn't even like Jesus. I have a dope mustache and go. <laughs> oh, goat. Okay. I don't know how I would look with just a mustache. That'd be weird. I haven't. I've had a beard now for a couple years. I used to basically shave it down to like. I don't know. Like this far? You know? So I used to have like a little bit of a beard, but it was not full. It was kind of patchy. Um, yeah, it was just what I did for work and whatnot. And then when the pandemic started, Curry Flex was like, if you want to grow out your beard, you can. Like, I encourage it. And I was like, you do. Okay, then. And then I started growing it out and never stopped. And I haven't cut it for like two years. Trimmed it. She's trimmed it for me a couple times. I got to trim it again here soon. Um, but I've been using like beard oils and shampoos and rollers and all that stuff myself. I have more hair. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wash your face each night with a goat plus <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I should have read it. Um, listen, C blank would, so don't tell him to do that new order. He'll do it. He will absolutely do that. All right, missed that. That's nice. I don't know why you talk about talk like that in front of your beard. Listen. The beard forgives me. It understands. It knows how much it means to me. Cover your ears if you're going dis to discuss about cutting it. <laughs> I would never discuss about shaving it off, but trimming it. Yeah. All right. Good one. Excellent hit. All right. Cool. Yep. Pick her up. Okay. Glitch through the floor. Fantastic. <laughs> Ass hair that Jesus Christ. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god, I just can't kill this zombie. What the hell? Let me try and pick it up again. Yeah, in the floor. Oh no. I think I just quit to the main menu because if I let if I let her fall, she will die. You know what? Let's do it for science. Let's find out what happens here. No, no, no. Let's not. No. See, I thought about quitting out and I thought about exiting. The floor couldn't handle. No, I don't think I'm going to alt F4. I think I'm just going to hit resume and see what happens. All right, let's let's fuck around and find out. Shoot your Xbox? Holy shit. No, just letting her die is so much better. For science, listen, new order. If nothing else, if we're about nothing else in this stream, I want you guys to understand, we are for science. I found a zombie that pushed me through the world. Let's see what happens.
Not that bad. Not that bad, honestly. See, now you don't ever have to worry about getting dropped through the world because you just respawn. Not that bad. Honestly. I expected a lot worse. I expected to die. Legends never die. It's true. She didn't die. That is confirmed now. That is confirmed. <laughs> parkour. Parkour, parkour. Oh my god. All office space. And take a bat to your Xbox. Jesus Christ. I could never imagine. Just keep... S oh god. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, uh... Somebody else requested some music earlier too. Let me let me grab that real quick. Let me interject my uh, Last of Us music with some raining tacos. Okay. By Perry Grip. Sounds good. I don't know what that song is, but it sounds trolly as shit. And you want Gravity by John Mayer. I'm not even sure I know what that is. Well, it's going on. Gravity didn't exist when I got pushed through the world. All right, New Order, I got you. Barbie Girl is in the queue. Third song. You guys want to know the song of the titles? I think it's over there. I think it's working, or is it? Oh, it's not working. It's broken. Why ain't nobody tell me that my shit was broken, huh? Ain't nobody tell me my thing is broken over there. God damn it. I didn't even notice. Oh shit, it does it not work anymore? It might actually be broken. Oh shit. Wow, the site can't be reached. It doesn't work anymore. Oh man. Alright. It's so heinous that it get Jesus. It would be fitting for the falling scene. It's a terrible song, but fitting for the moment. Yeah, well, but I got you, Apu. I got you. Listen, I don't know what... I, I don't know any music outside of metal, and even then, you'd have to hit me with some bangers. I play Beat It by One Morning Left. Gotcha. In the queue as well. I'm going to skip this song as soon as I'm done. Wicked Game. Alright, all these songs are in the queue. I'm going to skip ahead. All right, this is Running Tacos, baby. Raining Tacos. Hey, you guys, Running Tacos. <laughs> I love it. death metal cover of the song yeah i think you've asked for that as well i don't let me look again yeah i don't see it i see play but not stay yeah i don't see it new order unfortunate Cheese, cheese, cheese. <laughs> I could, I could mosh to this song. I could make a baby to this song. <laughs> oh, these are all great options. The video sells it. You need to watch it. I'll watch it after stream. That's so good. What a ridiculous song. That's great. 
I don't know what song this is. My widget's broken. The goddamn widget's broken, dude. What's wrong with him? What's this song? Oh, this is Gravity by John Mayer. Let's do both. <laughs> Let's do both. I don't know. Let's get crazy. Every time you mosh, a baby is born. <laughs> Whoa. A combination of death metal and acoustic like qualities of stay weirdly mixed. Well. Yeah, I think some songs like that end up really cool. That mix or... I forget what they're called. Mashups or verses. I don't remember, dude. I'm an old man. <laughs> Let's all raise a son and see how, how, see how he turns out. <laughs> Yo, see Blank trying to, trying to fuck up a kid. Poor kid. We will be Coco Co daddies. <laughs> That's the phrase I was trying to think of. There we go, New Order. We're on the same page. We got it. I'm an elite dad, though, to be honest. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I can't wait one day. It's the only thing I'm actually good at. There you go. Listen, if you're going to be a good at anything, be good at raising a tiny human, right? That's awesome. I believe in both of you. I still have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. I feel like that's parenting, though, right? Like, you kind of just figure out figure it out as you go. I don't think anybody actually starts with the answers. Like, oh, I'm going to raise a kid like this, and it just works out perfectly to plan. I think it's about... Again... From the outside looking in right now, I feel like it's uh, a trial and error period. I can't see anything. Oh, I'm being munched on. That's nice. Cool. Oh, shit. There's a lot of friends here. Hey, man. Oh, shit. It's another floor zombie. All right, good one. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Dude, the grabs around those corners are crazy. I'm going to get my ass beat out here. I need to be careful. I don't care if I lose her, to be honest. I don't want to lose her, but I doesn't matter if I do. I just don't want another death on me. Dude. So the zombie killed itself on the wall. And then he hit me down. But my health is reset, so that's nice. You start homeschooling next week? Oh, for your daughter? Yeah, that's cool. And Dark Souls, as it turns out. Here you go. This is your I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> Listen, you don't give me uh, an artist. I put in whatever artist for the song. Six of us? And said there were things she would have done different. Yeah, that's crazy, Cindy. That's super cool, though. Growing up in a huge family like that must have its challenges, but also perks. That's super cool. I hate it here. Get out of the hallway. Yeah, it's not good in there. I'll be fine, though. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God.
So the people on YouTube watching this are going to have no idea what the hell we're listening to. We're listening to a metal cover of Barbie Girl. <laughs> I'm checking these areas because usually they'll have some sort of healing item here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uncle Filth, are you there? If so, what uh, what screenshot do you want me doing? Because what I can do is switch to a full screen, and you can take different screenshots if you want. It's What I was going to explain, though, is it's a little difficult because... Uh, because I have a certain limited space I can work with. You know, my cam's only this big, so I can't do anything like, you know my arms stretched out i'm a little limited that way but we can just put my dumb face on it if you know if you you know whatever you want to do this version loses the awful awfulness of the original version by aqua oh my god yeah 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 this one has sweet guitar riffs But it's not as fun that way. The suffering is the point. <laughs> yeah, Leo's awesome. I like Leo's music. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's so many zombies over there. Ow. Your mom was the oldest of six children. My dad is the second of five. Jeez. But you're the only child? How does that work? Obviously, that's personal, but that's crazy. 11 siblings? Okie dokie. We're out. Yep, we're out. Barrel spawns him out. All right, let's just go back to the outpost real quick. I'm the oldest of five, and my wife is the middle of eight? Holy shit. That's crazy, C-Blank. Wow. That's cool, man. That is, that is, that is crazy. <laughs> I personally like Barbie Girl. Not something I would listen to more than once a year. Well, unfortunately, it gets, it gets requested as a troll song far too often. So I like to throw the Leo's version in, that, in there to troll the trollers, you know. You're second to last in the family. Yeah, that's man. Huge families are cool like that. I don't know how. I don't know how viable or obtainable it is nowadays because everything is crazy expensive. I know things used to be expensive back then too, but I feel like the cost of living is just absolutely like shot through the roof. I have 22 first cousins, 12 on my mom's side and 10 on my... Yeah, that's crazy new order. That's really cool though. Really, really cool. All right, so we switched over characters. We're trying to get this last mission to trigger, but we'll see. I'm not going to kill any infestations because it's not a real system that exists right now. Morale also doesn't exist. Who gives a shit? I want five kids with pregnancy with super hard on my Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. We may try again for a boy. Hell yeah, C blank. Hopefully it's easier on your wife next time, man. That sucks, dude. That sucks. Sounds good, Otto. Enjoy whatever the hell you're doing. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate you. I'll let you know how Banner Lord goes. Thank you for the lurk, my man. I have a nice with four kids, ages 
three to nine. Nine ten. I can't remember. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, niece, 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 niece. I have a niece with four kids, ages three to nine. Right, right, right. Three to nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got you now, Cindy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy expensive. Exactly. And that's only four kids, right? Four kids. That's crazy. Make it six kids and you can do a Brady Bunch cosplay. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, ooh. Is that Shittix? How you doing? I'll call you Pierre. Listen, you got Pierre in your name, 1997. First time chatter. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping by. Random question, but what is the best weapon to solo Daybreak? So, here's my opinion of day Daybreak. You may just be my new best friend. I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Welcome on in. Um, here's my opinion on Daybreak. I've played a lot of Daybreak. I've got the achievements. I've 100% of the game. The way that I've found the easiest way to deal with Daybreak is you bring in the Cleo Sniper and the Deployable Minefield. You put the Deployable Minefield inside the walls around your... Closer to the walls, but in like a U pattern around your operative, and you, you know, detonate them. So there's mines on the inside, so no feral can go, you know, murder your person. And then you bring in the Cleo Heavy Sniper and whatever melee. I usually use the axe because it's the last one, so I think it's the best one. I have no idea. And uh, you take the shotgun from the, the stash. So you use a shotgun for the first couple rounds. Well, actually for all the rounds. And then later on you can switch it out for a Cleo. Cleo shotgun and basically you want to switch to your Cleo heavy sniper when a juggernaut shows up because you can kill them in four shots so anytime a juggernaut shows up you're going to switch to that Cleo heavy and you're going to take down the juggernaut right other than that you're just going to use your shotgun or your 762 or you know your RTX stormbreaker whatever it is you're just going to use your other weapon to kill all the zombies and basically just wait for juggernauts to show up um you can also do it in a way where you put like minefields out in god that's a lot of zombies minefields out on the sidewalk to like maybe block off a side if a juggernaut or a bunch of zombies are heading down that way um yeah there's a few different things but i would say the cleo heavy sniper is very valuable for killing juggernauts quickly too and you can also collateral damage them so you can shoot through one juggernaut and hit the one behind it if you want. It, it takes a little bit to get used to because the computers are kind of useless, but, you know, you can do it. It's just very, it, it, it's it's hard to, to beat by yourself. Oh, shit. I'll have kids for you. Well, I, I got to look back and see what you guys are talking about. All right, let me go back to the location and see what you guys are talking about, kids and stuff. Mm, goddamn zombies, leave me alone. I'm trying to see what chat's saying. Thanks for the follow, though. Uh, what do you prefer to be called? Pierre is okay? What's your superhero name? Woo! My Lanta. Durangatame with a, with a rate of 13? Hello, everybody. Fallen Actual, welcome to the stream. First time chatter. Hello. How are you? Welcome to my close combat only. I'm only using a close combat for my challenge, my lethal run out. If you guys don't know Durangatang... I'm, yeah, I'm not on the team, awesome so I don't streamer. actually know what's going clip. on. I can't actually comment on specific things with any kind of accuracy. But, yeah, just, you know, don't make too many assumptions when you find stuff in the data of Zader Decay 2. Uh, chances are you don't know what you're looking at. Hmm. So, we're kind of, it's really interesting seeing how much better this is going than my first couple of rounds. Now, part the of it is, again, what's up? the... Uh, Hello, hello, good friend. How are you? How are you doing today? Welcome in, everybody. Welcome from Durangatang stream. How was his stream? What was he playing? How is it going? Oh, you just missed me falling through the world? Yeah, it's true. But it didn't die. My character didn't die, so that's nice. 
Yeah, let me go back up to what we the talking about kids and stuff. Uh, you have a pre-built child. All right, seems like you guys were just talking to each other. Nobody was talking to me. Okay, cool. I spit. Jesus Christ, C blank. <laughs> Jesus. Drangit. I was in another tab, so Drangitang's voice was hella confusing. That's hilarious, New Order. He just randomly shows up in my stream. Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon, get wrecked. How you doing today, La Coalition? Hi. How's everything? How's your Monday going? Fallen actual. Thanks for stopping by as well. I do appreciate you. How's your Monday going? <laughs> You'll never know which one it is. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, close combat only lethal, no boons, no red talon, nothing. Basically, I've killed all the plague hearts and I'm just waiting for my legacy mission to pop up. Ooh, the coolest yarn with some PUBG, maybe? What is that? I feel like that's PUBG. I think he just threw his gun. I feel like he just threw his gun off the edge. That's a very old... Oh, DayZ. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a very old DayZ clip. Do you still stream, La Coalition? Do you still stream? The shoutout bot picks the most... Re yeah, so it literally picks a random clip. It's not the most recent. It's not the most viewed. It's not... It's literally a random clip. It's just, what's a clip that they have? And go with that. All right. Um, oh, does anybody need infirmary nuke? Okie dokie. Well. Well, well. Hey, Boyardees, what's going on, dude? Good evening to you. How you doing? Yeah, we don't need the refuel. You you stopped for a while, mostly on YouTube at the moment. Cool. What's your uh, what's your channel? Post it in here. Post it in the in the chat. I'll check it out. I'll give you a follow and check it out. You're doing good, hell yeah, dude. My day is going great, as usual. Had a great day at work. Um, having a great stream so far. Just hanging out and chilling, playing State of the K2. About to wrap up this challenge, man. Finally. I think this is day five. And yeah, we're going to wrap up this challenge. Just waiting for the legacy missions to pop, man. I did a hostile mission. Actually, I did two of them. One of them I had help from a friendly enclave, so that was cool. And then the other one, I just lured a bunch of zombies there. And had them kill the hostile enclave, which was also super cool. Uh, I have nine deaths so far in this community. Nine deaths. Let me see something real quick. I want to try this music. So let's try this. Less than I would have had, dude. I've had a lot of deaths that I shouldn't have had, to be fair. I feel like I've died way more than I probably should have. Just, you know, greeting again or being stupid or not taking the ferals seriously. That'll always get you. Have you ever sat on your bay? That's a valid question. And the answer is definitely yes. Uh-oh. I switched characters and I'm stuck. There we go. If you jump, so press the A button, jump and then direct your person in the air, you can use, sometimes get out of spots like that. Sometimes. Hey, Satya. There are zombies out there that want to eat. Oh, thank you. I didn't listen. Sometimes zombies eat your brain. Sometimes I die nine times during a challenge run. Sometimes. <laughs> I appreciate the warning. 
I got you. Uh, I wish this would actually pop the last mission. That'd be super cool. Or not the last mission, but the next legacy mission. Because that would make me pretty happy. Um... Yeah, there's not there's really not a lot left to do here. I can loot these little places, but there's not huge loot to get from there. Let me let me find some medicine. In the QC blank. <laughs> the more you know, sometimes. Yeah, exactly, Cindy. Sometimes. I just hit a bloater for fun. Okay, finally find this bit of info regarding the new Xbox Stellar Shift controller. One feature of the Stellar Shift Xbox wireless controller you won't want to miss out on is the unique dynamic background that is only unlocked once you connect your controller to your Xbox Series X or S console. Dynamic backgrounds are animated augments that bring your Xbox dashboard to life, bask in the deep purple and blue swirling design as you venture off or you, your Xbox takes wherever your Xbox takes you. That's pretty cool. I do not have that one. I pick a blind for this girl and I want to see if I uh, use it for practice. Can I use it on you? Yeah, boy, RDs, hit me with it, baby. Hit me. <laughs> Let's see if you can pick me up. No, you can drive in the police car. Maybe the zombies run away. They don't want to get in jail. <laughs> you just turn on the lights. Oh, she's a Pokemon fan? I I have a feeling I already know what you're going to say. Well, do I? I feel like it involves Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah, I don't like it, Apu. I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't... Listen, I already know what he's going to hit me with. Because they definitely don't like the police. Yeah, the it's it's a known fact that the bloaters do not like the police. Policia. Bloaters hate them. Has anybody told you that you look exactly nothing like Eddie Murphy? Hey, that's cool. I, listen, I know that. Eddie Murphy is a good looking man, so that doesn't surprise me. I look nothing like him. Yeah, you know. All right, good one. Cool. We're gonna just create some space. Let let a couple of them scream, I guess, because that's cool. Yeah, exactly. I knew it was gonna be Pikachu. I knew it. See, Bl or Boyardee's. That that didn't surprise me. Is there Oh, your current controller's on the verge of dying. Are you going to grab this cosmic one? Is it new or is it to be released? What is it? Jesus Christ, C-Blank. Twenty letters in the alphabet. I, f I forgot. You're a QT. <laughs> I like that one better. The Pikachu one's weird too, but I like you. You are a QT. Oh Jesus Christ! To give you the D later. Holy shit! Hold on. Wait. I'll take that back. I don't like that one anymore. Hang on. Hang on. I heard a screamer around here. Where's he at? Oh, he's still down the road. Uh oh.
Rochelle, you think her friend great. C blank's got all of the just choice pickup lines. Did you know that in terms of human and Pokemon compatibility, Bidoof is the most adorable and huggable Pokemon? Bidoof? I would think Lechonk is that champion now. I feel like Lechonk is ridiculous. My nose? Dude, the booger sugar is real. Too much of it. My nose is so itchy. God damn it. Goddamn bloater laying on the road. Get out of here. You ain't catching me now. Oh, I didn't want to trigger that. Oh, God. Maybe a nine tails? Eevee, Eevee would be for sure. You be witching stream today with that nose plate, dude. My, my right nose for some reason has been so dry and like just bullshit lately. It's hurt a lot, man. La Coalition, you recognize Resident Evil music, huh? That's crazy. That's crazy because it's not, it's barely I've, it's played like two songs off this playlist. But yeah, I put on Resident Evil music. That is a great guess. Holy shit! Not a guess. You knew that. That's crazy. I'm huggling, hugging a Jigglypuff. I don't care about anything else. Listen, no wrong answers. Pokemon are cute as hell. All right, Loco Alicion, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you waiting in. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you again soon. What did Outcast say? Or at Jesus Christ. I'm not reading those. What did Outcast say? I don't see it. I don't see it. It's that 2020 potato vision I got. Oh yeah, we might as well go back home and clear out the zombies. Protect you from Charizard? Who would it be? Blastoise. I don't care who it's got to protect me from. If Pokemon's taught me anything... Well, B Blastoise does have the type advantage over Charizard, but... I would just choose Blastoise and just have it kill everything. It's because he's my favorite. I'm a Blastoise boy. boy. That Juggernaut is not going to be nice if it comes over to my base. The correct answer for the most huggable Pokemon is actually whichever you prefer. Which for me is Bidoof or Lucario. Two cutest. Bidoof is pretty cute. Lucario, I don't know if Lucario is cute. What's the baby's name? Like Rukio or something? Or what the hell's the baby Lucario name? The baby Lucario is pretty cute. I've never heard of Lucario being cute. But yeah, it's subjective, of course. Of course, of course. Of course. I'm taking Greninja. Hell yeah. Stealth over everything? Dude, Greninja is a ninja. New nickname in high school was Squirtle. What the hell? I'm picking Machoke. I got Machamp. Listen, he'll just use all of his hands to cuddle me. I would snuggle this shit out of Snorlax. That's a great answer, too. You could just use him as a beanbag chair. Oh, Riolu. Yeah. That's it. Thanks, Kaiser. Machoke is a good choice. That's fair. Riolu evolves into Lucario. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Super Mega Pokemon is different when it's a Machoke. Jesus. He's so muscly, dude. You should wear the lizard hoodie in a State of Decay. 
first time chatter jamie b welcome to the stream i appreciate you how you doing uh, i'll put a i'll put a lizard hoodie on for you here i like the little lizard hoodies they look cool let's rock oh let's rock the orange one i like that you can't see the orange at night appreciate you stopping by though welcome I don't have a Snorlax beanbag chair is now a problem in my life. Yeah, you should stream from your Snorlax beanbag chair. That's all I'm saying. Are you even a streamer if you don't sit in your Pokemon Snorlax beanbag chair while you stream? Are you even a streamer? I gotta trigger this damn mission. Please help me. There's a feral nearby. All right. Maybe it'll come, come to the door. Nope. Come back to the door. Oh, there's two of them. All right. All right. Close the damn door, please. See, this is where I get all my deaths from is when Pharaohs don't want to cooperate with doors. There we go. They took care of that one. Jesus Christ. Oh, they hit me off of it. That's nice. Alright, well, I guess we can all just circle shank it. Yeah, that's fair. With our screwdrivers. That's great. Um, Getting Jar Jar fives with those floppy ears. You're not far off. How many hours or years did you play this game? I've played it for about 800 plus hours. <laughs> it also hits different when it's with Lucario confirmed hottie. I mean, cutest Pokemon. <laughs> hey, what's the problem, Apu? What's the problem? We just got a couple ferals in here. No problem. No problem here at all. I would like them to trigger the goddamn missions, though. That'd be cool. I'd be pretty happy with that. I'm looking for an SOD streamer, and you're just... Oh, I appreciate it, Jamie. Well, welcome on in. If you have any questions or anything you want to talk about, State of the K related, I don't... Listen, anything, man. I love State of the K. I can talk about this shit all day. Uh-oh. Got a little hamstring cramp. Oh, shit. Drink some water. Too dehydrated. You may just be my new best friend. Hey, Jamie. I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Welcome on in. <laughs> He's pretty great, but he sucks at this game. Get out of here, C-Blank. You know I'm the best. You know I'm the best. Better than the rest. And nobody can test. I don't know. Don't at me. How do you deal with juggernauts? So the only way to deal with juggernauts are either, there's a few ways, but efficiently, you can use uh, explosives. Frag grenades work pretty well. Um, anything explosive related, shotguns, 762, you don't want to use five, uh, you don't want to use like nine mil or, uh, you know, any smaller calibers because it's going to take a thousand shots to down it. I mostly don't engage Juggernauts, honestly. I just don't engage with them. Because they take too much too much ammo to bring down. Too many resources, right? They're too dangerous. Because they could just pick you up and rip you in half, right? Like, there's... there's they're not fun to deal with. So, I, I usually just don't. I just ignore them for the most part. Um, where did I want to go? Oh, no, I don't even think I need that anymore now. Mm. Yeah, all right, let's upgrade that. Cool, cool. Uh, Bakugan. I, I didn't like Bakugan, but I acknowledged its existence, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like toys that you can throw, and it'll go whack. Yeah. Yeah. 
Negan. Oh, you like Negan. You like oh, Negan, do you? Have I introduced you, you Lucille? Have you met my friend Lucille? She's got a bit of a bite to her. She comes out every once in a while. Every once in a while, you, you get to see Lucille come pop out for a little, hey, how are you? When you guys need to, when you get too rowdy out in here, I need to crowd control. All right, does anybody want anything? No, it's amp prepper bullshit. I just want this. Uh, you can pick a fan. Yeah, I mean, you can hit him with the back of your van. That's fine, too. But I just, I'd just i rather not engage with them, to be honest. Hey, what's up, Setia? Yeah. I, you can hit them with the back of your van, and you can kill them eventually. I just don't like killing juggernauts. I don't think they're worth it at all. I really don't. He scratches his butt with it. I would never do that to Lucille. Desecrate Lucille? Never. Nobody will ever believe you, C-Blank. That is not me. I would love for the blast mission to trigger. I know you can do a cheese where you quit to the main menu and then come back in. I want it to trigger naturally. That'd be cool. If I didn't have to do something like that, I could just play the game normally and it would trigger. Have you make out session and then first? <laughs> what the hell? What the? Wait, what a. Wait. Wait, what a. What did I miss? What are you and Apu talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> that is not me. You called a poo out. Wait, what did I call him out for? I don't even know what I called him out for. There's two near your bases. Jamie, I don't need luck. I just don't. I just don't engage with them. Oh, pistol duel at 20 paces. All right. I mean, that's it's extreme, but... All right, we're going to go back to the base real quick. On a beanbag chair. Dude, beanbag chairs are pretty cool. Terrible for your back. And if you're over the age of 15, you're going to destroy yourself. But beanbags are pretty cool. All right, so we got to go help our friends. Once again, I don't have anything that can combat them. So let's, let's take fire, some soda can bombs, some pipe bombs. We're going to need some stamina and some healing for ourselves. And let's just see how this goes. Oh, you just can put some cash into the market. Oh. You can avoid Juggernaut very easy, but when they attack your bait. So, here's the thing, Setai. I, on a normal playthrough, whenever you're not playing one of your characters, you should put a 762 gun on them. So, if a Juggernaut attacks your base, your base takes them out very quickly. Because they shoot unlimited ammo, whatever gun they're holding. So put the 7.62 gun or put the 50 cal gun on your base defense and they will tear up juggernauts. It's not even a concern. So if a juggernaut does walk up to your base, they kill it within like 10 seconds. It's, it's crazy. When I'm done with this challenge, you'll see my forever community. And my forever community absolutely handles juggernauts. Abs like just without a challenge, they handle juggernauts. I don't even have to shoot a bullet because they do everything. All right, cool. Yep, I've Austin Powers myself. All right, give me one sec. Yep, okay, give me one sec. All right, one sec. Okay, and we're out. Easy. <laughs> That's a great way to handle conflict, C-Blank. Listen, 
That's a great way. I like it. Ever since Juggernaut ripped my friend Cody apart, I've been terrified. Yeah, Juggernauts can be dangerous. I would not engage them, especially in melee. Um, okay, I guess. Come on. Uh-oh, they're coming after me. You got to make sure not to get hit by them because anything, any bullet will kill you. All right, one more. One more left. There we go. Oh, he is dead. There we go. We got it. Oh, people can fight them with close, close range and win. That is doable for sure. You just have to know how to do it. You have to be good with a, a heavy weapon. You got to know when to swing, when to dodge out. It takes a bit of practice, but you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Fighting them in melee is not bad. I Listen, I'll do a challenge where I fight a juggernaut with a screwdriver. I could probably do that. It just takes... You just need enough stamina items, dodge around, you know, know when they're going to swing, know when to dodge. Exactly like what I just said. I'm not going to... I'll just repeat it again, but yeah. Seems pretty easy. Hey. Get off me. Uh, did you know... Yeah, they're... Well, so they've sort of announced it, but not really... They've, they've just let the world know that they are working on State of the K3, but there's no release date. There's no information. There's nothing about it. So we do know that they are working on it. We just don't know what it looks like yet. My problem with drugs is usually when I'm doing it. Yeah, exactly, Cindy. See, that's the difficult part. When you're trying to escort somebody like a VIP or, you know, whatever, they, uh, because then your followers try and melee them, but they won't dodge. They won't do anything smart. They'll just try and melee a juggernaut, get picked up, and torn in half. And it's like, why would you do that? Why would you actively go tickle a juggernaut and think you're not going to get torn in half? Why? You just shoot the shit out of it with the 762 and you're done. Essentially. Alright, let's go back to a, an outpost, switch out my character, and try and trigger the mission again. I'm going the wrong way. Yo, the Vandito's seen better days, but it's still my, my baby. Damn, good luck. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. I could do it. For sure. If I can kill... If I can beat Lethal... With no boons, no red talon, no legacy characters, nothing on close combat. I think I can take a juggernaut out with uh, with a screwdriver. All right, sounds great. Yep, Austin powers myself again. Oh, I love it. Yep. Okay, and then we're gonna turn this way. All right, and we're out. This music is perfectly fitting for my driving which is excellent i mad max jugs yeah if it ain't free i ain't playing that's my quote it, it, you talking about games or are you talking about within state of the k2 because games on game pass are all free right those games are free bouncing betty bombs take out jugs easy yeah bouncing bettys are crazy but so are rocket pods, so is the minefield, so are frag grenades. Like, I think it takes, like, four frag grenades to kill a juggernaut. Games, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree, Jamie. I feel like Game Pass is a really great thing, and I, the game has to be something special for me to actually buy and pay for it. Like, State of K3, I'll do it. Dead Island 2, I'll do it. The new Star Wars Fallen Order 2, whatever that's called. I'll do it. I'll do it. But I'm not going to pay for games like 
State of Decay is perfect. I don't need anything else right now. I'm good. I'm playing Dark Souls. I bought that, but, um, you know, Diablo 4 we bought. We buy. I guess I buy quite a few games. I don't buy as much as I used to. I used to just buy them recklessly, but now I at least buy them with a plan. Yeah, yeah, you play State of Decay? That's awesome. Do you play on lethal? Are you doing all your boons? What does that look like for you? I have seen Sons of the Forest, yeah. The Sons of the Forest is interesting. I don't I don't own it, but I would check it out. If it was free on Xbox, like PlayStation Plus or whatever it's called, I think I would download it and try it, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to buy it on on my PlayStation. I don't even think it's for PlayStation. Hold on, it's not even for PS5. That's right. It hasn't even hit PS5 yet. I can't play it. Standard? Yeah, hell yeah. We never judge. No, no, no. You play on whatever you're comfortable with, man. For sure. That is super annoying. That is so annoying. Stop. Stop. Stop with the disconnection. C blank. Man, thank you for gifting a sub to Jamie B. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. You are too generous, man. You you were so generous, you broke my internet. You broke my damn internet. All right, so while the internet kicked out, um, the finale kicked off so we're actually ready to go do the finale possibly let's see what we have here i'm gonna bring again a bunch of explosives i'll bring c4 i'm gonna bring fire i'm gonna bring healing uh we're gonna be prepared for a battle um yeah that's all i can really think of right now but yeah let's go let's go finish this let's finish this challenge and be done with it Oh, hell yeah, dude. You screenshot of my face. It was real funny. I hope it's out. My internet suffering is real funny to you, C-blank. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what is wrong with my internet, but it sucks. It is not ideal. Yeah, it did see blank. No, no, no. It, it was laggy on my end, Jamie. So it was my internet that was dying, not yours. But yeah, you gifted a sub over to Jamie B. Hell yeah, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks, see blank. I was saying how you broke my stream with your your generosity. Because you gifted that, I said, hey man, thanks. And all I heard a doo -doo -doo, which means it disconnected. And I was like, God damn it. I thought that too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the internet fully died. Died. I don't know what the hell happened. That was weird. That sucks, man. We were we were at 29 legends in here, and now I guarantee we'll be down to like half of that. Unfortunate. But nonetheless, I'm gonna murder this uh, this last mission here, and we're gonna finish this up, and it will be done. Done. I wish the the damage happened to people when you ran them over. Oh yeah, we're gonna deal with them. Oh hell yeah, dude. 
don't get much things like that. It means a lot. Oh, hell yeah, dude. C blank is a very generous, very generous giving friend. I appreciate him. I appreciate meeting you, though, Jamie. It's nice to nice to meet new faces, you know? I love talking about State of Decay. We all do. So it's just, you know, it's what we do. All right. Let's see if I can... Oh, there's no zombies here, though. There's literally nobody here except me and the bad people. I sentence you to death. Oh shit, is he shooting at me? Holy shit, I think he is. Uh oh. Uh oh. See that's you gotta be careful not to get one shot by the zombies. Or by the by the bullets, by the people. Is he sh yeah, I think he's going to shoot at me, man. God damn. I hope just to make a lot of noise here and just have zombies absolutely destroy these people. Isn't the perfect... Uh, I appreciate it, Jamie. Yeah, tomorrow we're playing Grounded. It's true. I do stream a couple different games. Usually it's... This week is a little bit... I would stream State of Decay one more day, but I'm putting Grounded in there just to try it out. Um, usually it would be State of Decay twice a week, and a FromSoft game. Oh, fuck. Hey, get down. Get on the ground. Oh, she's dead. Shit. Uh, grounded, I don't know what that is, but I'll see you. Hell yeah, Jamie. So usually I stream from 3 p.m. EST or around there till about 9 p.m. EST. Again, or around there. It's never, it's never exactly those times, but those are the general times in which I stream. Oh god, this she's got a big ass knife. There we go. Cool. I wonder Oh, I have to leave now? Wait, who's Cam? Where's Cam? Oh, you're UK? Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. Didn't we kill Cam? Isn't Cam dead? Where's Cam? Is he on the roof? Oh, he is. Holy shit, there's three of them up there. I forgot. Shit. Catch that. Yeah, there you go. Hell yeah, dude. C4 and some frag grenades. We're good to go. This music is awful. It's Resident Evil music. I'll change the song, but yeah. It's, uh, it's Resident Evil music. Yeah, let me... Let me switch that song. Alright, that's it. That's the rest of... Oh, that's the end of the, the close combat challenge. Oh, hell yeah. That's it. So that was close combat on lethal. No boons, no red talon. Uh, only close combat weapons. No primary, no secondary, no melee weapons. Nothing. Thank you guys for joining me. If this is the end of you for YouTube... This was episode 5. Check out my other videos. I've killed a Plague Heart on Lethal, Blindfolded. Um, we'll have more challenge videos up there. So thank you guys for hanging with me. Thanks for, for doing this and uh, seeing this one through.
I'll see you guys in the next series. Have a good night, YouTube. See you later.